It's been a while since I did a hands-on technical video, but of course it's my favorite kind of content to cover, so today we're going to learn how to find and exploit race conditions. We'll start with a little bit of theory and then work through a lab so that you can use this attack during your next pen test or against your next bug bounty target. Passwords are still a failing legacy security control that we can't seem to avoid and so we need a way to manage them to ensure that they are effective and easy to use. And that's where today's sponsor NordPass comes in. An intuitive and easy to use password manager and it doesn't stop at just passwords. You can store payment details, pins, keys and the ability to share information securely with your team makes collaboration easy. And you can grant, review and revoke access with just a few clicks. It's easy to set up and deploy, and of course the intuitive interface means that your colleagues will be using it from day one. You can secure your business effortlessly with a three-month trial by using the CyberMentor activation code at nordpass.com forward slash CyberMentor. And of course, there is a link in the description below. As always, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and let's dive in. Before the legend, that is, James Kettle released a white paper titled Smashing the State Machine, the True Potential of Web Race Conditions, I was pretty convinced that we were limited to limit overruns. But now a whole new world of potential exploitation has opened up and with Burp Suite, testing for race conditions is easier than ever before. Before we jump into a lab, let's briefly discuss an example so that we can understand what's happening and also talk about the race window and collisions. So here we have a nice example of a voucher being applied. And in this situation, the limitation is that you can only use each voucher once, but there is a very small window of time between when the voucher is being checked to be valid and when it is updated as used or applied. And if you're familiar with time of check, time of use, it's essentially the same thing. So we want to apply the voucher as many times as possible during this race window and overrun the limits of one time use, hence the name limits overrun. And there is a great example here on the Portswigger Web Security Academy site. I also recommend that if you want to learn more about different types of race conditions after this video, you go and work through the rest of the labs here. But essentially what's happening here is that we are sending two requests using the same session, but with different values. And if we look at the diagram, we can see that one request comes in and the username is set to hacker. Then as the second request comes in, the username is set to victim. The reset token is created and sent to the victim. The reset token for the first request is then set and sent to the attacker. So at first glance, this kind of looks like it's working, but remember that we're using the same session and the order is playing a big part here. We end up with the username being victim and the reset token that is sent to the attacker as one, two, three, four. Getting a collision like this to work will of course require multiple attempts, but highlights some of the potential for how powerful race conditions can be. All right, enough theory, let's take a look at a lab. All right, so here we are at our lab and the challenge here is to purchase this lightweight leet leather jacket and it's very expensive, but we're gonna get it for free. And cool metallic t-shirt too, wouldn't mind if that came with it. Let's click add to carts. And I think we also, looks like we need to log in. So we can do Vina and Peter and, oh, we have $50 store credit, which is nice. So we'll probably use that to pay the remaining balance after we use this 20% off promo token lots and lots of times. So let's come to the cart. Oh, the cart's empty. Let me re-add this. And here we go. So we're gonna add it once. And back in like 2005, the way to do race conditions was just to like mash the apply button. And sometimes this actually worked. So um, this is a, a, a classic pro technique, which obviously doesn't work very often anymore, but uh, always worth a try. Looks like it only applied once. So let's go ahead and remove this. Come back to Bev Suite, HTTP history. Find the 
post request for adding the coupon and this looks like it we've got a CSRF token but probably this is a single token for our session so no worries there and I'm gonna add this maybe like 10 times I think let's go with 12 just to be on the safe side to repeater and what we want to do is assuming you've got the latest version of burp suite installed you can come to here click create group and we want to select 1 to 12 let's make it green because green is cool race conditions and we've now created our group um, what we want to do is send requests in parallel and there are a few other options here which you might want to use in different situations but most of the time when I'm testing for race conditions the parallel option is the best way to go and let's just click go so we got coupon applied here we can refresh Oof, so we came down to $143. We actually need it to go lower than $50 so that we can check out. So let's remove this, try again. I think race conditions is a pretty typical vulnerability that we have to try multiple times. No luck second time. Okay, let's remove this again. We might have to add a few more requests in. Let's see. Ah, oh, 91. Getting, getting worse. Let's try three more times. And then if we don't get it, we can uh, increase the number of requests that we're sending. Let's add some more requests. So here, once again, we can just hit Control R. Let's go up to 20 and see what happens. Ah, $37. Okay, so this is less than how much we have in the account. So if we place the order, we solve the lab. Nice. So if you're interested in learning more about race conditions, then head over to the Portswigger Web Security Academy. And if you prefer video content over reading, then Jonah, also known as CryptoCat over at Integrity, has also done a bunch of great videos. Once you get through them, you'll definitely be ready to find and exploit race conditions during your next pen test or bug bounty adventure. Catch you next time.